Hey guys, this is um, Mountain Blade Warband, native. This is what I'm going to be playing. So, let us start. Welcome adventure to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, we must create character, blah 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 blah. So let's change on, I'm going to be male. You born years ago, no land far away, your father was. Veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meager living from your father's wages as a guardian to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand. Uh, where am I? You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk you spent your early life as page at nobleman's court as a boy growing out of childhood you were sent to live in the court of one of the nobles of your land there your first lessons were in humility as you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household but from their chess from their chess games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deed and the courtly love. God, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You also learned from the rough games of the other children who battered, battered at each other. Sounds right. With sticks, in imitation of their elder swords. Then as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a university student. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in the university of one of the great cities where you studied theology. I'm not even quite sure what that is. Philosophy and medicine. Okay, I'm finding the last two. I don't know what the first one is. Um, but not all your lessons were learned in the lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alleys in search of wine, women and a good fight. However, you certainly were able to observe how a broken jaw is set or how an angry townswoman, uh, townsman can be persuaded to set down his club and accept cash compensation for the destruction of his shop. But you soon, uh, but soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? Personal revenge. Only you knew exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave. With the rage burning brightly in your heart, you want vengeance, you want justice. What was done to cannot be undone. And these debts cannot be repaid, uh, can only be paid in blood. Become an adventurer. Allow me to quit. Tutorial. Gone. Van, uh, Dagen Van Van Helm. That is my choice. Not those two, but two each. Why can't I click? Oh, I wasn't on that probably. <laughs> my dad. One in athletics. We've got one in training, so that's okay. Path factor two. Surgery two. I will always choose surgery over everything else. Oh god, my arch will be shiznit. I will be choosing something like. that. 
Okay, let's go to the land. <coughs> oh god, my throat's killing me. Of the Swadia? Green sheets of wheat, barley, and oats. Blah 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 blah. You want to read Paul's book? I can't. Ooh. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh shit. Got you, you son of a bitch. First killed by Dargon Van Helm. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Marshal takes you to his house, once inside. He stands by the door for a while, checking the streets, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Really? He comes near me to speak. I've got around near him to speak. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven by banditry, by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. On the frontiers? On the frontiers? I would have just put on the front, but oh well. Few men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. Boo-hoo. I don't know what my brother was thinking, a lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these? <laughs> well, I could guess what he was thinking. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse but his family. So what can, I, can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then... <coughs> Oh God, then people will start to think that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with the blade. And more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly or you wouldn't be coming to Calradia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking. Oh, here's what I'm asking you to do. I skipped a line, my bad. <laughs> Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? Yeah, a bit of silver sounds good. Right, mate. <laughs> you won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant you. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more in interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purse of a hundred dinars. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. <coughs> Very good, sir. 
I'll collect some men from around the villages. Good, you can find me again in the tavern here in Praven. After you've got your group together, then we'll speak about what we do next. Right. So he's given me a hundred to get five units. Right? And then he says it's an advance on my reward. Well, not really. When five units, 20 each. Or 10 each. Oh no, they're 10 each. So, I got 50. I don't want to go in there without any proper... Men, if you know what I mean. So, there. There you go. Four point six, five point seven. Come here. Charge the enemy. Charge. Actually, stand here. Let me pass. Try and level up a little bit. Get some better accuracy. Them come. I should have cut them all down, and that is really, really loud in my ears. Nope. I don't know. Oh, it hit one. So I want to go to the marketplace. Let's go to the horses. Right, okay. So I've got some men that aren't the most basic in the world. Tavern, you're gonna give me some money now. Most of the cavalry, black merchant, farmer. Oh, there you are. Trying to hide from me. Splendid work, you have hired enough men to take on that. Uh, take on the bandits. Now, travellers entering Proven have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of the town. Oh, of town. I suspect that they are all up from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their lair. Why don't you come with us? Because I'm paying you to take care of it, to go take care of it. That's the short answer. The long answer is I've got some leads to follow up here in town, and I might, uh, I have just much chance of getting knocked on my head as you if that's what you're asking 
But I respect your question. Now what do you say? Very well, I will do this. Leave. Deserters. Oh my god, they would mash me up. There you are. Don't chase me. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! <laughs> Those prisoners are going. Uh, are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. 18 against 4. Okay. Oh, crap. Not the easiest of all places to be. Come on. Just a bit further. Please don't say that again too close there. And I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Okay, so if they're coming from that way... Let's go from the top, eh? Son of a bitch, you moved the last second. Shit. Damn it. I'm getting my sword out. There we go, just what I wanted. Since they got to kill three, and I only got to kill one. Ah, spare my, spare me, spare my life. Let me go and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade and you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. Either you or your mates kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts and you can go free. Ah, oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our eye down near Asgard. Asgard. I'll describe the area near in detail so that there's no mistake in it. Loot. La 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 Oh my god. 
Every shot I took, I missed. Thank you, thank you, sir, for risking your father's feelings. Did my brother and brother put you onto their tracks? Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can. And be careful on the road. Oh, Kelly Doki. It's not as much reach, but it's still good. Okay, I got a week's pay out of that. Now to the tavern and say hello. Didn't even think and portable. Then again it happens at the start of each one. Okay, I'm hearing people die in all directions. Yes! <coughs> yeah, I leveled up finally. I've been waiting for that for an age. Charisma. Leadership. One-handed weapons. Don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Holy crap. Oh Christ! Hit someone! That's my not hit! Thank you. Hey, why didn't I even shoot him? A few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down by uh, one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of and the merchant head to his house to review the day's events. Haha, <laughs> well done, I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about ten of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go on a go look on them. Let every villain learn to fear the name Dargon Van Herom. Yes, yes, now a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in a back room with a knife to its throat. I'll need to drag him before King Harrow Harless? King Arles and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but if you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate. I'll assure you, and um, you know enough to say 
stay out of the town for a while and forget the whole episode ever happened. So hopefully we'll meet again. Okie dokie. <coughs> Right, so I got 500. 